Roz, you had a bit of time to think about yesterday. How did this sum it up? Yeah, a little bit. I think we still need to review it as a group. But, um, yeah, obviously what's been said, we, we started quite well and, and had the game on our terms early. Um, and then probably after half time, yeah, f fell away, um, especially around the ball. And they got um, the ball down that end and they were uh, able to lock it in and we, we couldn't get it out. So it was uh, a bit disappointing that we didn't run the game out well. As a forwards coach, you probably had the easiest gig in the world, didn't you? The first half you're on fire and then the second half you boys barely saw it. Yeah, we had a lot, lot of entries, which was great. Um, we were able to score. We weren't efficiently with goal anyway, we weren't efficient with um, kicking goals, but we were able to score and, and, and move around and, and, look, and look pretty dangerous. So that, that was a positive early in the game. What, um, what was sort of said in the box? in that second half, you're trying to get your hand on the ball, centre clearance was the issue at the top. Yeah, definitely some stoppage, but mainly just the contested work all around the ground. I thought they beat us around the ball and, and then they were able to get it forward and, and pretty deep entries too, so we're locked in and couldn't really get the ball out and, and obviously get it forward and give our forwards a chance. Why? What was that? Why, do you think? Why? Yeah, I know, I know what happened, but why do you think that happened? Well, that's something we've got to look a bit deeper into because that's why we're pretty good, I thought. Um, all pre-season and in the trial games, that was probably our, our biggest strength. So that's a big thing because it yeah, didn't look like us. I think we had 40 tackles, which is just not us uh, either. So um, we've got to get that game back on our terms. Nick said last week you guys are hoping to improve on your previous performances against the Giants. Despite the result, do you think you were able to make some progress there? I, I think so, but yeah, still probably that second half is still probably where they, they have beaten us before and it's around, around the footy and their ability to... To, to get that ball on the outside and then and then have really dangerous entries off the back of that. So, yeah, it's something we're still going to improve on. How likely or unlikely do you think it is that, you know, talk about the amazing pre-season you had and a great first half, in particular that first quarter, the boys sort of thought maybe this, this job is half done? Um, it didn't seem like that in the in the rooms at all. Um, look, the, con the conditions w were, were were an issue. I, I think a few of the game guys have said, and the GWS guys definitely said it was was the hardest game that they've ever played in. Um, and it was we were out there as coaches and sweating up after ten seconds out there. So it was different conditions, but we need to be able to work through that. Um, and we we thought we'd done the work to, to get it done. So fitness was a, did you, do you think fitness was an issue? No, I don't think fitness is an issue with us at all. But yeah, there's something where I thought we had the chance. They had a few down that we could have ran, ran over the top of them, and we'll have a look why we didn't. But it still comes back to our our contest and and where we were poor. Was that yeah. one of the more sorry, was that one of the more frustrating elements? The fact that at times they basically had one on the bench. So that you weren't able to capitalise on that man advantage. Yeah, well, and we probably did. We probably had chances, and we, as we we talked about being efficient early in the in the first half, we probably weren't in the second half where we did have a few chances and we let that slip as well. Can you put any of this down to inexperience, like the inexperience of the group, or not? Um, no, we we don't feel that because of especially what we've trained over the pre-season, and especially towards the end of games, we've put a lot of work into that. So I, th I think the boys know how we want to play and they've sort of got that connection. So no, I don't think so. How was Shane? I guess after, he's got to come under the microscope, I guess he'll get, he'll get the verdict this, um, this afternoon. How's, how's he at the moment? Yeah, I haven't seen him today. Um, saw him briefly after the game. Um, look, he seemed okay. He, he does play the game on the edge at, at times. Um, but he, yeah, no, he was all right, and, and we'll just wait and see what the MRO had to say. Are you expecting a particular result from the MRO? Oh, um, buddy and picket. Yeah, I'm not very good, good at, with all that sort of stuff, so we'll just wait and see. How did you see it from a, from a look point of view? How do you see that the players that lead in the ground? And uh, yeah, he came back on though, did he? Or I think yeah. Sorry, I mean the the tackler sort of leading the ground to launch into into the bump. How do you see that in general? In general. Yeah, I think they're told not to not to leave the ground. But um, yeah, look again, uh, Shane. We don't want to stop him playing on the edge, but yeah, he's got to be careful of crossing the line. Pickett and Buddy will obviously also be missing weeks. You can find out the result for you guys later tonight. Um, are you guys going to be having a, a chat with the boys about how to approach bumping in the future? Um, I suppose yeah. Maybe we'll see how that plays out because um, it is a contentious thing. We've got to be careful in the head. Uh, we've got to look after. So that's something we'll we'll always talk about. One of the best first halves from McCroy you've probably ever seen in either ranking, but it didn't really kick all that straight. No. You know him and you work with him. Will that frustrate him? Uh, yeah, because he wants to be the best he can be and he, he wants to win. Um, he was disappointed um, that he didn't help us get over the line. Um, but uh, a lot of improvement in Isaac. He had a reasonable game, but 
there's a lot of improvement. So uh, he'll put put his head down and go to work. First signs of the ranking with Shelley kind of partnership. I mean, you must be really happy with it in the first half. Yeah, especially Josh. Uh, Josh was fantastic. I think Josh was our, our best player. He played, um, he's had a really strong pre-season. He's played a lot of different roles and he's just nailed every role he's played. It could be deep forward, high forward, on ball, and it just showed out in the game. Um, yeah, they might steal him on ball a little bit more now, so yeah. I might have to pass him on. We know he's kind of got the skill, but he did a couple of chase down tackles, which showed like just a lot of you know guts to get back there, I guess. I mean, do you know, do you, has he always had this in his locker, or was that something he's kind of you know worked on in pre-season? Yeah, I think he's just, I think he's always had it, but he's the effort he's put in on the track and in the gym. Um, he's just got that, that, that effort to go, and him and Luke Pedler are having a bit of competition on that. So. What does he give you, I guess, going into centre bounces? Yeah. Oh, just that, that big body, he never goes to ground, and he's actually super, like, super strong. I know he's only second year, but he's one of the strongest in the gym. So his ability to, yeah, in, in a contest, to keep his feet and then drive, and that ball gets to the target really, really quickly. So it, it's really hard for the defenders. Ross, is it midfield structure, do you think, or would you look at say Fieldthorpe as your primary ruckman when you talk about GWS's dominance in the centre? Yeah, well, Filthy had, had a great um, trial game uh, against Glenelg, so that's definitely something we'll, we'll think about, um, whether that's forward or in the ruck, but uh, yeah, he couldn't have done much more. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll have a look at a few things that can help us around the midfield because most games are won in there. Not all about stats, but I think for Roy Laird, it's about the worst game since 2014 or something. Yeah. It just knocked day. John said that they were going to go after him, but it didn't look like there was a high no, tag or anything. No, they didn't go after him. Rory probably just didn't have his best day. Um, I have to speak to Rory about that. I haven't chatted to him, but um, look, it shows how important he is. But uh, Rory's going to have those days, and sometimes he's going to get tagged, so other guys need to step up. What positives do you take out of that game? Um, I, I think just the, the the first half and how we wanted to play. And, you know, our ability to defend. I thought the defenders, like, intercept mark, because we were putting better pressure on the ball, but our ability to intercept mark and then score off turnover was quite a positive. Um, and we still were able to score from stoppage, which we've always done reasonably well. Um, yeah, and, and, and the, all the things we've been working on with our offence to, to give our forward line a chance, I think you saw that in the first first half. So hopefully that can continue. We can play four quarters of footy. With um, eight or so minutes to go, I think the margin was three. Tex runs into an opposition defender, gives away a free kick, and then from there the game's done. How heartbreaking is that moment when you had a... It wasn't great timing, yet for Tex. We'll, we'll have a, a chat about that. Um, I don't know if he bumped him that hard, but it still was a free kick, so he's got to be careful with that. But oh yeah, I'm, I'm not going to sugarcoat that. That was an important time for us. Yeah. What are you expecting from Richmond this weekend? I don't know, is it going to be similar to GWS, given the Kings Leagues come from... Targets or? Yeah, I suppose the way they play, they really open up the ground, so they really test you in your defence, and we like to keep things reasonably compact and pressure on the ball, so that'll test us. Um, they've got a really, obviously, strong midfield with the additions they've got, so, um, yeah, we'll look to counter at that. Hey, Ralph, just, um, for, again, you touched on physically how challenging it is. Did you get the sense from the guys or anyone you've spoken to this morning that they're still sort of sapped or would you sort of ease him into the week given how tough it was? I know we pulled up well from an injury point of view so it's probably just the, the heat that we, we need to recover from but I'm, I'm pretty sure the boys will recover from that pretty well. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah. uh, Murray just cramped? Was yes, that? just cramped, yeah, just cramped. Cramped enough to not, not go on or was really struggling in his performance so that's why we brought uh, Tyler Brown on. Sloan, a nice uh, return for him, there's a, a few Contest, he put himself in the thick of things. It must have been good to see him get through. Yeah, to answer you quick, with the po that, that was obviously the positive. Rory coming coming back. Um, Max Michelani playing his first game. I thought he looked quite composed at times. Um, used the ball really well. And probably guys even like um, Luke Pedler, who has been injured the whole time he's been here. I, I thought his game was really really solid and played a really important role for us. Not, not the first time that Toby Green's given your defenders a bit of a touch up. Is, do you have a Obviously, he's one of the best players in the comp, but do you have an obvious matchup for those sort of medium forwards anymore? Was yeah, I think Dudes was on him for most of it, and Dudes actually played a pretty good game as well. We, we have to look at how we stop Toby. I actually do think he's pretty close to the best player in the comp, you know, how hard it is to, to play as a forward, and uh, he's pretty damaging most weeks. So he's an important player, and I think we do have guys. Um, Josh Worrell's out at the moment, but he's someone that can play that role, and Max McLean is definitely going to be that player in, in years to come for sure.